Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look of how you can uh, update a uh, Docploy Docker Compose image to use the latest version of uh, that image in your project. So I have in here a uh, Docploy installation and in here you see that I am currently on the latest version of Docploy which is currently the version uh, 0.12. And in here, if we're going to check, you will see that I have some projects, I have an Astro website and I have some self-hosted applications. And in here, for instance, I have the Bezel client. If you don't know Bezel, it's a monitoring tool that can help you monitor your uh, VPS, your Docker containers and uh, so on. And in here, you see that I am using the Bezel image, should be the latest one and uh, if you are going to rebuild or stop or deploy it it will not use the latest version and uh, you need to go manually and pull the latest image and then you can hit the redeploy and the image that is the latest one it will be used and in here for instance i have the bezel installed and uh, right now you see that i am monitoring two of my servers and one it's the cloud.bdos.com and it's using an agent that is not in the latest version. So the latest version right now for the client and for the application it's 0 0.8. You see in here that this one it's already updated. And yeah, Bezel it's a nice tool that can help you monitor your VPS server, send alarms and things like that. If you don't know about it, you can take a look and install it and it will help you monitor your servers. But let's go and see how we can uh, how we can update this agent. Basically, this is a Docker Compose file that it's used. You see in here, this is Docker Compose file. It's easy, and uh, yeah, it's not that complicated. And uh, to update it, we're just going to the server in here, and I am logging to the server right now where you have this. And if you're going to do a docker ps you are going to see all the images that you have installed in here and for instance we're interested of this one and you see that it's up for uh, four weeks when i update it last time so to update it you just need to go and do a docker pull and we're going to do it like this it we're gonna use the latest tag and right now the image it's updated and pulled on our server and what we should do is to go and rebuild this confirm and right now this will going to be rebuilt and uh, deployed and this should take about i don't know a couple of seconds for this it depends on what you have in uh, in there it can take longer for for other things and let's go and uh, see this. And right now you see in here that the agent has been updated. Same for instance, I have also in here another application. Let's see the Flowwise one. And uh, I have installed Flowwise in, in here. And if you're going to check the version, we're going to see that is not updated to the latest version. Let me log in. And if we're going to check in here about, you'll see that is not updated. And again, to update it, we're going to do the same thing. And um, in here, we should have the image. Let me go and see. This one, it's the image. And what we're going to do, it will do the same thing, docker pull and the image and this will go and fetch again the latest uh, flowwise image basically when you are going to deploy some docker applications it's best to use the exact version in there but there are some cases where you want to use the latest if you are doing test this is not production or in my case for instance you see that monitoring thing it's using the latest i only want the latest agent for the monitoring application but right now we should wait for this image to be extracted and download, downloaded and then what we are going to do is to go and uh, redeploy it and see if everything has been uh, has been updated to the latest version okay so right now the flowwise image 
has been downloaded, the latest one. And again, we should go into the UI and just hit the rebuild. And uh, right now it will use the latest image. So yeah, right now everything it's been deployed. You can check the logs if you want and the deployments if you want. Let's go and do a Docker PS for instance. And you will see in here that uh, right now, let's see. Yeah, it's been updated, the latest images. You see the ones that have been uh, done. And let's go and refresh this. Let's see. Okay, so right now you see that we're using the latest version of Flowwise also. So in this way, you are uh, updating easily the Docker Compose uh, images or applications within uh, Docploy. I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you liked what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe.